Warner Brothers. Um, your manager, Jeff, told me the Friday film was kind of the last straw, and he brought up that uh, that Wall Street Journal article left out a lot of the key pieces of information. Uh, like what? We felt like, you know, they were pressured by Warner Brothers and their lawyers to to soften the blow. You know, the, the writer caught Warner Brothers in a series of lies. But the truth of the matter is, you know, that company claims to understand the business that I'm in, but they continue to uh, ignore, dismiss, or um, actually sell away the projects that I'm a part of. So, you know, this has been going on for over 20 years, and I don't want projects over there. I think the writer wanted to write a story about a 20-year relationship gone bad with, you know, many, many, many things that were, we believe were very unfair to Cube, and we believe um, a lot of them were generated in stereotypes of race. I want to take my projects to other places who um, are willing to do to do the movies and, you know, understands my brand. Uh, we've had a great time at places like Universal. Um, and so, you know, uh, Warner Brothers is just uh, terrible for me as a actor, producer, director. Your manager, Jeff, said Warner Brothers is horrible to black creators. Um, mm -hmm. How so? I mean, they have a list of, of uh, complaints and lawsuits and settlements behind the scenes. And um, if you look at the movies they've produced, um, I mean, you can count the, I mean, you can use your, probably your ears to count the black movies they've produced you know, in the last five years that, that made any noise. Um, they've given away some of my biggest movies, like Ride Along. They didn't see me and Kevin Hart as being a, a star in Bonafide box office. So Universal put that movie out. And didn't the Chief Toby think Kevin Hart would never be a, a star? Yeah. This is what I heard is that he said to, you know, not only my manager, but to, to the guy that was producing with me that, you know, two black leads are not gonna, not gonna sell overseas. And wasn't it also said that a black family couldn't be the center? Oh yeah, that was, um, that was years ago. You know, it was a movie that was up. You know, at the time, it was just right for me to play uh, the, the father figure of the family and um, they, they just didn't want an all-black family. You know, they, they, they wanted me to play some FBI agent and have a white family, which is, you know, that's something that is their prerogative. That's not even a movie I'm producing, but, you know, I've hit movies that's sitting there waiting to be made, and uh, they won't do it. So to me, it's just better to part ways. After George Floyd, um, Q put out the contract with Black America, and one of the areas that we we seeded out for um, that needed to be addressed was, you know, 100 years of stereotyping in TV and in film. People like Universal and Disney have, have done a lot to really address the inequalities in that business. What Bob Iger did, um, you know, with, with you, you know, with giving us all the land of Wakanda. Um, you know, they, they didn't exploit the culture. They tapped into it and empowered people. Um, and in our opinion, Warner Brothers is the worst offender. That's just based on our analysis of their, their both their rosters of the movie they make and the budgets they use to market them. You know, there's, there's a segregation of marketing budgets. There's the white budget and the black budget. They wouldn't make straight out of Compton. Uh, they said nobody would be interested in a rap movie. And that's, 
it's way more than a rap movie. That's a movie about friends. It's about a uh, breakup to makeup. It's about rags to riches. It's David versus Goliath. It's, you know, it's a thousand different stories that we all can uh, relate to. Um, it's not a rap movie. And just by them saying that is insulting. So, you know, they've proven that they um, don't know what they're doing when it comes to Ice Cube. And, and do you think that's a systemic problem in Warner Brothers or just a, a couple people in senior leadership? You know, Warner Brothers, look at their track record when it comes to representing black people on the screen. You, know, you could take this back to the 1800s. I, I had a congressman tell me that Warner's needs to pay for its atrocities. And I never thought of it that way. Like atrocities is like, you know, people being gunned down, people being, but he meant it. And part of the atrocities about what's happened to black Americans is very subtle, nuanced stuff. People get their cues about how to act in the world by what they see on film and television. We need to expel problems that are passed on generationally. What changes would you like to see made at the studio? I'd like for them to give me my, my IP back and I can go make my movies. They can get their fee and they can go live happily ever after.